Up next on the mic venue, let's put our hands together for Adrian Whitcomb. Well, I'm not sure how satisfied you are with the election we just had. There was good news and there was bad news. But I got inspired to do something. Looking at this in a different light, I've been reading biographies of the previous presidents and mainly to see how were they different, how were they successful. Well, first of all, uh, I read I read a couple of biographies uh, by Theodore Roosevelt. He's uh, very important as far as the um, environmental movement in the national parks and also breaking up uh, trusts or large corporations. And the latest book I'm reading is about Lincoln and how he formed his cabinet from his rivals in his party and um, how he was successful in, in doing that. So um, I'm still uh, reading that now. So it's, but um, so I decided to make this little chart here. Of course you can't read it. But the idea was to look for qualities you would want in a president or any political leader for that matter. And um, these are not, these could apply mostly to conservatives as well as liberals, uh, because uh, these are more character things. And the first quality, of course, is honesty. And so um, I rated it the five categories here, and you can see there's five columns. And um, I'll just uh, go over some of this. No, I won't have time to do the whole thing. But um, we'll start with does not meet minimum requirements. Okay. Cl all right. Under that is claims there are alternative facts. All right. Does not meet at all. Um, need some improvement. Make statements that are implicate wrongdoing by other people without providing evidence. Um, meets job requirements, or let's say minimum requirements, avoids unsubstantiated statements, and then on the positive side, exceeds job requirements, would be to seek truth in all matters, realizing the folly of making decisions based on false information, because using false information doesn't just affect your opponents, it affects yourself. And in the end, if you're basing what you do on false information, it's going to lead to your defeat, and hopefully it will. Um, and then four exceeds job requirements, seeks the truth even if, if it contradicts your personal idea. So to be open to the truth even if it's something new to you that you haven't accepted before. Now I'm going to jump down to the, uh, the to the end of this because I'm not going to get through it all, but I wanted to uh, say something about the media because that keeps coming up so often. And the media, well of course if um, if you don't meet job requirements, I mean, you've, at the very lowest end, you label the media that publish anything critical uh, as enemies, enemies of the people, uh, of the country. And then um, a little bit less bad than that would be you, you pick on certain organizations like a cable network or a particular newspaper. So that would be still, that's still not acceptable. Um, and um, what would be uh, fairly acceptable, just the few, the free press, the free exercise of the press, and that's mentioned in the First Amendment, by the way. 
including all news media, is essential to a free society. Because if we don't have sources of information besides what the government wants to give to us, then how we can decide for ourselves what's right and what's wrong. Um, and But better than that would be a leader that encourages questions from all members of the media and doesn't put people down if they ask tough questions. And then um, even better than that, or well, including that actually, would be holding frequent press conferences even it would be politically expedient to avoid them. And um, the best example, now I've been around, by the way, for 13 presidents. And um, that seems like a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I have. Um, so it just turned out the 13th president was an unlucky one <laughs> of the bunch. Um, but I think Kennedy, Kennedy was the prime example of holding press conferences. And he knew how to take something that that the guy now would uh, think was an insult and turn it into a joke. And if you ever watch any of John F. Kennedy's press conferences, you can, you can see that uh, you don't have to be a grouch to be president. But I'm going to keep working on this. I have about seven categories. I maybe add some more. And uh, I think we should look at the good qualities next time, you know, it's two years, less than two years now. So it won't be long that they'll be doing the primary. So think about it. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Up next on the mic, let's make some noise for the venue's own Bridges.